they are also identified with his actions for peace during the Civil War. We have also abandoned his dedication to the democratic vision of this country. We are commemorating his achievements as a political leader, as a high-level international civil servant for the United Nations, as an international section leading the election conservation mission all over Africa. In 1996, our national aspirations for democratic civilian governance and votes for peace were placed on the soldiers of this gentle giant. This tall man with a graceful demeanor, a man whose works showed a lack of civility, tolerance, and experience. Man whose main personality was what the country needed as a symbol of hope and perseverance in the most trying time in the country's history. That was a period of enormous suffering in the nation, and Bakabar, exiled in the became a suffering president. The world rallied around him to end the suffering of his people, especially so far as the near destruction of our capital city in Britain was about in 1999. It would be very painful for any patriotic leader to see his capital city in flames, especially the city where he grew up a city where he went to school, a city that he had looked forward to for a peaceful retirement from an illustrious international career. But Bethany has pushed him to lead the nation's emancipation from the sufferings of the war. He carried on that leadership role with dedication. He built alliances with leaders of all political parties, with civil society activists, with loyal soldiers of the civilian armed forces, and members of the CDA. He stood and fought out against extremists. He fought a good fight. He sought a common ground. He reasserted our common bonds. Our own friendship, our religious tolerance, and our better aspirations for peace and democracy. The whole world answered to his call for support on behalf of the people of this country. And with the strength of the world behind him, with the sacrifices of our Nigerian, Guinean, and Ecuador brothers, with the support of the United Nations, the United Kingdom, and other friends of the country, he was able to pronounce the end of the war in 2002 by telling all Syrians that the war don't know. <laughs> Today, our nation mourns the loss of this great symbol of perseverance and this great hope. But even as we mourn, we must also be thanks to Almighty Allah for a life well lived. A life that also symbolizes our nation's noble struggle against adversity. War, military dictatorship, extrajudicial killings, and human rights violations. Today, we have here friends of Syria who have stood with us through the 
and win. We are here at the Congo Force. Others are not be able to come for the insurance benefits. Our brothers and sisters, you have been great friends from Sierra Leone. We want to thank you for giving support to our fallen youth. We salute you for your support during the president of Pankara. We salute you for continuing to stand with us and we call upon you to be witnesses unto our reaffirmation of our nation's commitment to peace, democracy, and prosperity. This reaffirmation is in honor of Bakabar's legacy. Mrs. 
Thank you, sir, ladies and gentlemen. 